all the teeth. It is I, the fabulous Trace, back with a new video. Sorry, I'm looking a little kind of hit today, but I have my twist out setting. You already know what that light be like. Oh, what's this piece right here? We oh, don't we'll need that out. Uh, but if you clicked on the title, then you already know what we're about to get into today. So, honey, yes, I made my own replacement retainer for under $10. Yes, under $10. Um, so what had happened was, we were in Miami about a month or so ago, a little over a month ago, and I was at the mall, I had some lunch, put my retainer on my um, tray, forgot my case, threw the whole damn thing away, didn't realize it until I was like two minutes away from my hotel. There was no way in hell I was going back. And so um, I was like, you know what? I called my orthodontist, found out that it was $700 to get a new retainer, and I was like, Oh, hell no, I'm not doing that. I'm gonna figure out a way to make my own. Then it dawned on me, ding, ding, ding. If you guys have been following me my whole braces journey, then you know that for two years before I got my braces, I had a missing tooth and I made a flipper, a um, partial denture out of this moldable plastic stuff. And I'm like, bruh, I got a crap ton of that shit left over. Why can't I make a retainer out of it? So lo and behold, we have made a retainer. So. If you want to see how I do what I do and how you can do it too and save yourself a few hundred dollars, then keep on watching and I will catch you on the other side. All right, so you're going to need only two, well actually three things for this tutorial. And I hope I don't sound crazy because I'm in the powder room. So, you know, like bathrooms echo weird but anyway so you're going to need your instamorph um your moldable plastic beads and then you're going to need some really really freaking hot water and a spoon so that you don't burn yourself so you're going to open the package and i'm only gonna pour a few beads in my hand Okay, so it's about this this much in the spoon. This is like a, a little tiny teaspoon. Like it's a it's not even a full size spoon. It's a little bitty spoon. So I'm gonna put that inside of the water. I'm just going to dump it in there. And what happens is it starts to turn clear. And I'm just gonna let that sit. It says you're supposed to let it sit for like two minutes. Um, but once the shit turns see through. You know, it's pretty good to go. But I'm, I'm going to wait two minutes just for instructional purposes sake. You know what I'm saying? So I'll be right back. Okay, so I actually added a bit more of the, um, the beads to the water. And now they're in this clear... Alright, I hope you guys can see. It's, it's like a clear mass of beads. And you want to work with this stuff pretty quickly because you don't want it to cool down. So I'm just going to roll it in my hands until it's into a log. And I like it to be pretty thick because if it's thin and see-through, then it's not going to be as strong. So I'm just rolling this into a log. Ooh, child, my hand ashy. It looks worse on camera. Hold up. All right. So I'm just going to roll this into a log. Um, it's a little longer than my middle finger, but that's what we're working with. So, like I said, you want to work with this stuff pretty fast. So now that I have my log rolled or whatever, I'm going to work on my bottom teeth first. And what you want to do is just, I can't really talk through this, so actually, you know what, I'm just going to voice over. So you're going to place the log, the clear log, on your teeth in the horseshoe shape that your teeth go. And you want to start on the very top of your teeth, starting from the backs of both sides, and just work your way towards the middle, pressing it down onto your teeth. Um, you can't really see because my hands are all up in my mouth, but I'm pushing it down from the back and just kind of sliding my fingers down it and making sure that it lines up with my gum line. And I'm going to press that as I'm going. And that's really all it is. You're kind of just molding it onto your teeth and sliding your fingers down. And you want to be careful and go kind of slow because you don't want to stretch the material out too much and make it too thin because if it's too thin, it's not going to be strong. If it's not strong, it's not going to hold your teeth in place properly, blah, blah, blah. But that's pretty much the gist of it. 
Also, I'm kind of like sucking it down onto my teeth just to get a vacuum seal, but you want to be careful with that and don't suck it too tight because as it dries, it shrinks and you don't want it to be too tight. All right, so now that I have it in my mouth, I want you guys to notice that it's right at the gum line and getting the gum line is like the most important part. So you want to make sure you get you molded your entire gum line. both on the inside and the outside. I'm gonna let this sit in my mouth for a little bit and it's gonna start to turn opaque. You want that. Cause it's gonna start drying. <laughs> and I do have a little bit of excess and I'm just gonna cut that off with some scissors when I take it out. When I take it out, I'll show you guys exactly what it looks like in the excess and how I just cut it off. Okay, so now that I've taken it out, it looks like this. It looks kinda like a mouth guard. And I'm just going to let that sit. I just want to inspect it and make sure that I have all the teeth molded, the gum line and everything. You want to make sure that whole thing is molded. Now this piece right here is excess because I, I have um, some teeth extracted in the back. Uh, well, actually one tooth extracted in the back. And so I have this excess right here. And once it's fully dry, I'm just going to cut that off. So now I'm going to do the same thing with my top teeth. I'm just going to scoop out a big clump of the stuff, put it in the hot water. I'm going to do two spoonfuls of it this time because my top teeth are a lot bigger than my bottom teeth. Matter of fact, I'll do, yeah, two, two should be fine, maybe two and a half just to be safe. So I'm going to let that sit and I will be back. Now, once you take it out, you want to check to see if there are any like see-through bits because you don't want that because that means it's too thin. So there is a little piece right here on this tooth that's see-through, but it should be okay because it's in the middle of the um it's in the middle of the tooth. It's not like at the top. So it should be fine. So I'm just going to rock with it. And then if you can, if you notice, there's this excess bit right here. I'm just going to cut that off. And, um, and also I want you to notice that this goes up and around the tooth as well. I might like shave this down some so it's not so thick. Um, but you want it to go up and around the tooth so that your tooth does not move. That's the whole point of this thing. You don't want your teeth to start shifting and moving. So I'm going to grab some scissors now and just um, cut the, the ends that don't serve me. So I just have some kitchen scissors and I'm just going to cut it off. And this stuff is hard as shit to cut, which is why I'm using it for my retainer because it's very, very hard. It's basically indestructible unless you put it into boiling hot water. Okay. So I have this rough end right here and I'm just going to dip that in the water and melt it down a little bit. And once it turns see-through, you know you're good to go. So now I'm just going to smooth out those rough edges so that it doesn't hurt my mouth. So now I'm going to put this back in my mouth and it should snap in place and that's how you know that it's, it's right. And it should feel tight.
All right, I know I look a little crazy, but I wanted to show you guys in better light what they look like in. I know, right? I look like I'm wearing a mouth guard. The funny taste will go away. You got plastic in your freaking mouth. Like, the taste will go away, all right? Relax. Um, don't talk with this in your mouth too much because it might activate your gag reflex. Like I said, I only wear these when I sleep, but I'm gonna take them out and I wanna show you exactly what they look like so hang on and you see it's not easy to take out because they're in there okay i'm gonna go rinse these out i'll be right back all right, so I want you guys to see, well, first of all, this is what they look like outside of my mouth, top and bottom. And I want you guys to see the inside of them because that's the important part, okay? Focus, is it focused? So you can see all of the teeth imprinted, right? And most importantly, most importantly, you can see the gum line, okay? That's better, there we go. And you can see that each individual tooth all the way to the gum line has been imprinted and that's the important part. Here's, that's the bottom and these are the top. Go ahead and focus, there we go. And you can see it's all the way to the gum line. The entire surface of the tooth has been imprinted into these molds. That is the important part about the retainer. When your teeth are moving, what's going on in your gums is what's holding your teeth in place, obviously. So you want them to be in place at the freaking gum line. I don't know if you've ever had to make molds before, but if you've made a bad mold, it's because you didn't get the imprint of the gum line. So I just wanted to let you guys know that. And that's the end of this video. <laughs> Okay guys, so I really, 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 really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. I hope it saved you a few hundred dollars because ain't nobody else that I don't know be dropping all those retainer right now. I mean, listen, eventually I am gonna have to get um, my original retainer because I was without my retainer for about two weeks, a little under, maybe over two weeks. And so my teeth have shifted a little bit. I noticed on the bottom that one tooth is a little bit out of place. See this tooth right here? Yeah, she's out of place again. So definitely gonna have to get my original retainer. You can't see it from afar, but I can see it and I don't like it, I ain't happy with it. I spent too much money to have this girl thinking she better than everybody. Get your ass back in line. Okay. I spent a lot of money on my damn braces and I want my teeth to be perfect. Let me let me just say this real quick. Let me, let me, let me get up in here and let y'all know something. Your retainer is more important than your braces. You don't wanna have to have spent all of that money all of that time going through all of that pain and not wear your retainer for your teeth to shift back ain't nobody got time for that so you must wear focus 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 get together yo this camera get on my nerves bruh so you want to make sure you wear your retainer try not to lose it but in the event that you do. I hope your girl has come in and saved the day and helped you out with some stuff. Things are going to get a little bit different on this channel. As you can see from this video, I will be adding some new stuff to the repertoire. So make sure you are subscribed. Make sure that notification bell is on so that you get these updates so that you know when I'm dropping these videos because a lot of stuff is getting ready to happen on this channel. I'm going to be adding a bunch of stuff to the repertoire and I'm so, so, so excited for you guys to see what I have coming up. Um, follow me on Instagram at call me underscore trees. Make sure you remember that underscore or you will find me. But if you're looking for me, call me trees. I'm here. I'm everywhere. You know, I'm even on Snapchat, even though I don't post. But if you want to follow me on Snapchat, follow me on Snapchat too, girl. I don't care. And is that all there is to say? Yup, that's all there is to say. And there is no more except as always. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to give me a big old thumbs up. Get this video out there so I can help more people because I wish 
I didn't have to think of this shit myself, but I did. And so here I am to help you guys. Uh, what else I gotta say? That's it. So thank you guys again for watching. I love you, love you, love you. And I will catch you in the next video. Mwah. Bye guys.